many meanings. Which has many meanings, stepping up or stepping back for someone during a time of need, supporting a colleague when they're away, celebrating a personal milestone at home, work, or school, birthday, a celebration, or a small victory of maybe being on time when you typically aren't in this busy world. We know the last two years have been extremely challenging, navigating the pandemic to the continued unrest and injustices within our country. The importance of taking care of each other has never been more important than this moment. There's no better embodiment of taking care of each other than Team Baltimore, which I am privileged to join this past year. I wanna give a core value acknowledgement to our team, whose beautiful pictures we see there. LaShonda Bolden, our program director. Kendra Lyle, our director of alumni services. Our two fabulous program coordinators, Shavari Kortz and Kylie Stewart. Thank you for your dedication, joy, care of each other, and our young people. So I welcome you here today with a couple operational notes. We would love to have everyone's cameras on. We wanna see everyone's beautiful faces. We wanna see you engaged. We want us with you today, with us today. Utilize the mute fight feature if you, unless you are speaking or presenting. We'd love to have interaction in the chat, either with text or emojis, whatever you feel. We will have a variety of awards being presented. Um, we will allow each recipient to say a few words. Uh, we just ask that to keep your remarks brief as we have a packed agenda. At this time, I would love to introduce the CEO of Urban Alliance, Elizabeth Lindsay, to offer a moment of congratulations and say a few words. Elizabeth. Hi, everyone. Thank you so much, Chaz. I just want to say congratulations to every single uh, fabulous Urban Alliance uh, Baltimore alum who is here today. I mean, it is such an incredible accomplishment to not only succeed and finish high school and do well in high school, especially over the past few years, it has been so hard. I don't know if you all recognize, like I can't even imagine making it through high school with um, COVID and with the level of just uncertainty and racial unrest and all of these things. And you all made it. I mean, you didn't only finish high school. You also completed an internship that um, is at a level that many adults couldn't have completed. So I'm just so excited for you all. And I'm so excited to see what you will do next. And I think we'll cover this later, but I also want to share that we're always here for you. You are, will always be part of the Urban Alliance family. So if you are need some support in figuring out what college classes to take, or you're thinking about um, a new step in your career, please come back to us. We are here for you and we wanna support you because your success is, is why we're here. So I wanna congratulate you all again and also thank the Baltimore team. You all have done such an incredible job. I'm sorry, my dog is barking at me. Um, you all have done such an incredible job supporting this incredible group of young people. And um, it's a pleasure and privilege for me to work with you every day. So congratulations to the Baltimore team. Congratulations to the students. And uh, I'm very thrilled to celebrate with you this morning. Thanks, thanks all and thanks Chaz. Awesome, thanks Elizabeth. And with that, it gives me great pleasure to introduce and pass the space to LaShawn Bowman. All righty, good morning, everybody. Um, I just wanted to take a moment to just um, thank everyone for being here with us today as we celebrate the hard work and dedication of our class of uh, 2022 graduates from um, six different Baltimore City public schools who have spent the last eight months working at various companies across Baltimore City. Echoing what Chaz and Elizabeth have already said, um, we are so thrilled to be celebrating your accomplishments on today. Uh, from applying to participate in the Urban Alliance High School Internship Program, to being accepted and moving forward to those Friday workshops that I know may have seemed like so much in addition to your um, many things you had going on in your senior year, um, to attending um, uh, monthly leaders like me guest speaker series, to receiving guidance and support with post high school planning, um, 
I just know that you're going to be leaving here with an abundance of knowledge that you will be able to carry with you throughout your personal and professional journey. Um, so again, I just want to congratulate you and just let you all know that today it's all about you. Um, but I also want to give a shout out to our mentors and our school partners that are with us today, because without you, um, this wouldn't be possible. Um, so at this time, I'm not going to take up too much more time because you'll be hearing more from me later today. Um, please welcome me and joining intern Jeremiah Hooks, who will be presenting the 2022 Urban Alliance Mentor of the Year Award. Good morning, everyone. My name is Jeremiah Hooks, and I'm excited to present the Mentor of the Year. At the beginning of the year, I was unsure what type of internship I would be selected for. After pre-work, I was placed in an internship that required me to learn new skills and push myself. I was excited to start because the internship aligned perfectly with my career goals of working in the marketing industry. I knew this was a great fit, not only because I was interested in their mission, but because of my mentor. He is the type of person that always finds a way to motivate you towards whatever it is you want to pursue, a goal or a career. He is the founder of Black Speakers Network, and he is always willing to provide tips to be a better communicator. Throughout my internship, he helped to refine my areas of growth and strength providing feedback to improve my speaking skills, helping me learn new skills and increasing my overall confidence at work. He is understandable and is always willing to provide support and answer questions. It is with great pleasure that I present the Urban Alliance 2022 Mentor of the Year Award to Brian Oates. Brian, would you like to say a few words? Well, it is extremely rare for a it is extremely rare for a speaker to be speechless. Uh, <laughs> and I, I guess that's fortunate uh, since I'm going to be speaking later. But Jeremiah, I just want to say thank you uh, to the entire Urban Alliance team. Uh, it has been so rewarding having an opportunity to work with you over the past, uh, not only this year, but this is actually my second year serving as a mentor. Uh, Jeremiah, you make it easy. Like we can all get interns as great as you, man. Uh, I, I think the, the world would be a better place. And I definitely have a lot to say uh, later as it relates to just the incredible accomplishments that I've seen from you and the, the incredible stories that I hear about the interns that have gone through the program this year. But I just want to say thank you again to the UA staff. Uh, you all have been just so incredibly flexible and supportive and, um, and, and just knowledgeable throughout this entire process. And I'm excited to have an opportunity to do it again. So thank you so much. And um, I'm looking forward to continuing the journey. Okay, with that being said, please join me in welcoming Mr. Jabari to introduce the 2022 Urban Alliance Job Site of the Year. Good morning, everyone. This job site was able to host three of our interns and give them a truly meaningful and entrepreneurial experience. From working on mood boards to helping design clothes for their seasonal collection, interns at this job site were able to get an in-depth view of what the fashion world is all about. One of our interns was even able to walk in the fashion show. Being a great job site requires nurturing, time, and thinking out of the box, all of which were displayed at such a high level. So it is without further ado and great pleasure that I present to you the Urban Alliance 2022 Job Site of the Year Award to Different Regard. And I believe we have a, a member of Different Regards here today, if you'd like to say any words. Yes, hello everyone. I'm Dominic Davis from Different Regard. I uh, just wanna say thank you for the opportunity, you know, uh, to receive this, you know, and it's just been our pleasure just to, you know, assist all the, our interns, you know, um, and it's just been, you know, it's really amazing to see when you start off at one point, you know, at the start and now towards like this, towards the end of the season, you know, just to see them all are going to be great, successful adults, you know, in all their careers. So, um, and this be, and just for us to be able to have, be able to have the opportunity to nurture their, you know, their growth and their su future success um, means a lot to us. So this is why we do it. Right. So thank you. Thank you, Dominic, and all the different job partners that we work with. So now please join me in welcoming Ms. Kylie as she's gonna introduce the Urban Alliance 2022 Intern of the Year. Thank you, Jabari. Um, so every year we give interns the opportunity to apply for this great award. In order to be eligible, interns must be in good active standing, um, a current high school graduate and completed two post high school plans. They must also submit a 250 word essay to describe their experience. 
From all the applications we received, um, two of them stood out to us the most. These two came into our pro program showcasing all of Urban Alliance's core values. So our first one, from the beginning of pre-work, this person was always engaged. What impressed us most about this intern was how well they displayed a commitment to the core value of communicating clearly and modeling professionalism. They have a sense of professionalism that has made them stand out from communicating their elected days off far in advance to asking questions for clarification in workshops. This intern has consistently exceeded our expectations. Even their mentor shared that um, he's really impressed with his ability to work independently on projects, but also have the wisdom to reach out when he needs support. Um, and not only has he grown throughout the internship, he's also made a real contribution to his internship site. His efforts directly drove business growth through new membership acquisition and retention. Um, it is with tremendous pleasure that I present Urban Alliance's 2022 Intern of the Year Award to Jeremiah Hooks. Jeremiah, would you like to share anything? Yes, thank you, Ms. Kylie. It's a great pleasure receiving this award. Um, you know, this internship has helped me, you know, through like my, you know, my strengths and my weaknesses. So, you know, without the internship, you know, and with me and I'm, you know, even though I quit PGC, Peer Group Connection, and, you know, I wanted to, you know, try this internship out, you know, it was great, great pleasure with, you know, being able to like learn new things and new skills, you know, to help my mindset and being able to continue on having it throughout to the future, you know, to the real world and like to other job sites. And like, as I'm getting ready to transition over to college, I am, I am going to keep those kind of skill sets with me and the rest of the long way. Thank you, Jeremiah. We're very proud of you. Awesome. So yeah. our next intern has a smile on their face. They're the poster child for our core value of remaining positive and following through. They were selected for an IT internship when they shared no interest in IT. Um, they went through a 96 hour training, still smiling. College applications, senior events, midterms, and the start of an internship, they continued to stay positive and they finished really strong. Their mentor shared the same sentiment on the internship. She said, she's always willing to help, her attitude is uplifting. Even when we did mock interviews, the feedback this intern received was that she is both positive and bright. Um, it is with tremendous pleasure that I present Urban Alliance's 2022 Intern of the Year Award to August Jackson. August, would you like to say anything? Um, okay, first of all, thank you. And I really didn't expect that. Thank you so much, Urban Alliance has opened up many doors for me. Just like Ms. Kylie said, I really didn't show a lot of interest in IT before I started my internship, but now that I'm in it and I'm almost done it, I'm very interested in it. I plan on continuing IT when I'm in college now. So yes, Urban Alliance has been nothing but a blessing and I really appreciate this award. Thank you guys. Oh, thank you in the chat too. Awesome, we're super proud of you as well, August. Um, so let's welcome back Chaz. He will be presenting the 2022 Urban Alliance Community Partner of the Year Award. Thank you, Kylie. Congratulations again, August. Uh, our Community Partner of the Year Award, we recognize that our work cannot be done in silos. It takes partnerships between schools, youth development organizations, philanthropy, local government to make paid work experiences happen. Um, today, we want to show appreciation to the Mayor's Office of Employment Development by awarding them with our 2022 Community Partner of the Year Award. To accept this, I believe we have Donise Brown here from the Mayor's Office of Employment Development. And Donise, to put you on the spot, I'm not sure if you have a few, any words you'd like to say um, in accepting our award today. Good morning, everyone, and thank you so much. It's truly an honor to receive this award today. And I accept it not only on behalf of the Mayor's Office of Employment Development, but for any agency and organization that deal with direct services to our young adults within Baltimore City. Urban Alliance has been a longtime partner with the Mayor's Office of Employment Development. And I just wanna to continue to congratulate you for the outstanding work and services that you provide 
to our young adults, it always gives me a ray of hope and a smile in my heart when I see how hard the staff and students work and also the engagement factor that's involved in all that you do throughout the work and over the uh, months and days that you work with the young adults. So I just wanna say thank you again on behalf of the Mayor's Office of Employment Development. You have an amazing team. Um, your staff is dedicated and true to the mission and hold some wonderful core values that they definitely pass on to those that they touch. Thank you so much. We appreciate that. Um, and my heart is smiling right now. It makes me feel good. I appreciate those words. Um, next, I want to welcome Tana Davis, who's one of our fabulous young people who will be presenting the 2022, or I'm sorry, we'll be, we'll be giving the intern reflection representing the 2022 class. Tana? Hello, everyone. I'm Tiana. I'm a recent graduate of the Baltimore Leadership School for Young Women. And this year, I had the great opportunity to intern with Living Classrooms at the Baltimore UA House through Urban Alliance. I got the opportunity to help with their after school program in their summer camp. This was my first time working with kids this closely, so it took me some time to get used to it. But I quickly got the grasp of it thanks to my mentor, Maya Boy, and other staff members at the UA House. During the after school program portion, I helped first through fourth grade, fourth grade students with their homework and I helped facilitate the teachers in their designated enrichments. During the summer camp, I am currently working as like a receptionist and I'm helping facilitate the children with breakfast and lunch. And I'm at work right now, so sorry if you hear any of the kids background. I thoroughly enjoyed my time with Living Classrooms and Urban Alliance has provided me with a great deal of professional experience and opened my eyes to a potential career and towards the youth. Urban Alliance has helped me so much with things like building my resume, teaching me how to professionally communicate and dress and so many other important things to know when I enter a workplace. I've encountered so much growth from the responsibility my internship required. These instilled skills Urban Alliance has taught me will really be will really be beneficial for my future, and I'm so thankful for this experience. This fall, I will be attending Alabama State University, majoring in business. My mentor Jabari was very helpful with helping me organize my post high school plan and inform me of many scholarships and other opportunities I should take interest in. With the top responsibility I've heard from Urban Alliance, I'm more than prepared for the obstacles college will challenge me with. And to the class of 2022, congratulations, we did it. We handled a lot of responsibility this year and it wasn't always a walk in the park. This experience gave us a real taste of the real world and now we're more than prepared to face it. I hope, I hope your time with UA has taught you to never give up and to always remember your purpose and goals you want to achieve. Choosing to join Urban Alliance has gotten us here today and will continue to help us as we start our new chapter. Good luck next year and keep pushing. At this time, I will turn it back over to Ms. LaShonda who will introduce our keynote speaker. Thank you. Thank you so much, August. Um, mm, I'm sorry, Tayana, that was beautiful. And again, congr um, congratulations to the class of 2022. So give me a moment to share my screen. All right, can you guys see the slide I have up? Yes. All righty, so I will be taking a moment to introduce our wonderful keynote speaker, Dr. Brian J. Olds. Um, Brian wasn't born with a natural enthusiasm for public speaking. As a certified introvert turned professional speaker, the Baltimore native inadvertently entered the world of speaking when he delivered his first speech to the Morgan State University Toastmasters Club in 2006. Recalling this as one of his most defining life moments, Brian instantly connected to his passion when he found himself in front of a standing ovation at the conclusion of that speech. Identified as a curator of collaboration, Brian specializes in empowering rising professional speakers to create clarity, streamline systems, and cultivate the relationships needed to re um, reach the unique audience they are called to serve. 
His passion for speaking, diversity, and building relationships led him to create Black Speakers Network, a membership-based professional speaker development and empowerment association. With a growing network of over 15,000, Black Speakers Network is the largest and most supportive global community dedicated to serving underrepresented speakers at all levels in their careers. In 2021, Dr. Olds received an honorary doctorate degree from United Graduate College and Seminary International in recognition of his life's commitment and global impact in um, advancing the voice of underrepresented speakers. With a deep appreciation for the artistry of speaking at the helm of his career, Dr. Olds is defining success on his own terms. His impact is illustrated perfectly in the industry made Zig Zagler's quote, it's not where you start, it's where you finish that counts. Please join me in welcoming Dr. Brian J. Olds. All right, good morning. And thank you so much for that introduction. Um, and I am super excited to be here, you a family. Uh, and so one of the ways I always uh, introduce myself is by letting people know that I am an introvert. And so if you know anything about introverts, uh, we generally don't do things like this. And so if we have any fellow introverts here, I could tell you as a professional speaker and now as the uh, president of Black Speakers Network that uh, introverts can be speakers too. And I tell people all the time that when I first started my speaking journey uh, over 15 years ago, right here in Baltimore at the great Morgan State University, uh, I couldn't lead two people in silent prayer. Uh, so my message right out the gate for you is that if you are um, an introvert or an extrovert, doesn't really matter, but if this introverted kid from West Baltimore, Maryland uh, can do it, uh, so can you. But this is gonna be a different kind of speech for two reasons. Uh, first is because the amazing UA team, uh, they only gave me five minutes. And if you know anything about speakers, uh, we could barely say our name in five minutes, uh, let alone deliver a presentation. But the second reason that this speech is uh, a little bit different is as uh, echo today, uh, this speech is not about me. Uh, it's not about my accomplishments. It's not about my achievements. Uh, it's about you. It is about the extraordinary interns uh, who are, we're here to celebrate today. And so uh, I mentioned to you that I'm an introvert and there's one thing that um, you should know about introverts is that typically uh, we don't like to attract a lot of attention to ourselves. Uh, because of that, I personally don't wear a lot of jewelry. Uh, you might catch me with a watch or a Fitbit on, but you know, normally I'm not that flashy. Uh, I know some of you are, um, are, are uh, like to, to, to come out in style and that is absolutely fine, but uh, that's just not me. But there is one very special uh, stone that I'm always, always obsess obsessed with, and that is diamonds. And so I want to talk to you a little bit about uh, diamonds. Now, um, have you ever wondered why it is that diamonds are so valuable? Um, if you have it, I just want to share a couple brief facts with you about diamonds. And these are, you know, interesting facts to me. Uh, number one, diamonds are actually the hardest natural substances on earth. They're so hard, in fact, that uh, the only thing that can scratch a diamond is another diamond. Um, diamonds are formed as a result of two things, time and pressure. Uh, time, uh, it actually takes billions and billions of years um, to form a diamond. Most of them are about as old as the earth itself. And pressure, they are actually formed deep in the earth. A hundred miles underground uh, is where diamonds are actually formed. And the only way they get brought up to the surface is through volcanic eruptions. And then last but not least, because diamonds are so dense and so durable, one of the reasons that they're so valuable, guys, is the fact that uh, they practically last forever. Diamonds are forever. And now you may be thinking, Brian, what does this have to do with me? What does it have to do with Urban Alliance? What does that have to do with my internship? And here's what I know for a fact about this class of 2022. Uh, we heard it uh, echoed by several people already this morning. Um, as I look across uh, this room, the people that are here, um, as I think about Jeremiah, I intern, um, as well as hearing the countless stories of um, perseverance, of resilience that we've heard uh, throughout the course of the year. I don't think that we are um, looking at a class of uh, just students. We are looking at a class of 
diamonds. Uh, and here's how I know that. Uh, January 2021, um, well, first, let me just go back. Uh, you all entered high school in the fall of 2019 as freshmen. Uh, and if you can remember, here's what was happening in 2019. Uh, January 21st of that year is when the first U.S. case of coronavirus uh, was known about. February 2nd, uh, I remember where I was when they said all air traffic is coming to a halt, nobody's going anywhere. And then February 3rd, uh, we declared a public health emergency. And you're, I, I can imagine the stress, the, the uncertainty that you must have felt uh, sitting in your um, classes as freshmen, uh, trying to figure out what the next four years were going to look like for you. Uh, 2020 wasn't much better. Uh, March 9th, we had the single worst day on Wall Street um, in US history, triggered by the global lockdowns that were taking place all around the world. And as was mentioned before, May 25th, uh, George Floyd uh, was unfortunately killed in uh, police custody, which triggered an entire new era of uh, civil, civil unrest um, uh, across the nation and just a, a reckoning, a racial reckoning that we are still uh, feeling the effects of to this day. And so through 2019, 2020, 2021, and 2022, uh, these four years have not been easy by any stretch of the imagination. But here's what I recognize. I know that the 54 students that the UA uh, Baltimore has served this year, uh, I understand several of you have already gone off to start your college program. When I look out at this class, and I think I speak on behalf of all of the corporate partners that are here, all the school partners, my uh, fellow mentors, we do not see just 54 students. We see 54 diamonds. We Nobody could have predicted the um, that you would have to face your academic career and kind of start off your life under such times, under such pressure. Um, no one could have predicted that the last four years would have been so volatile. Um, but what I think is the reward for that is I believe this class of 2022 has produced some of the strongest, most resilient and capable uh, people on the planet. I think your class will be remembered for that. And so as I close, I want you to remember the lessons that you learned here at UA Baltimore over the past few years. I know that you learned the value of taking care of each other. You learned and had an opportunity to practice through your internships, uh, the art of follow through, holding yourself accountable, and honestly understanding the critical importance of communication, whether it's on in person or virtual or written, communication is key. And so don't let these lessons leave you. Most people wear jewelry as a status symbol to the world. They, they put it on to demonstrate um, how much they're worth to other people. But to the UA interns, I'm here to tell you that when you are a diamond, when you are a diamond, you don't need to prove your worth to anyone. Instead, you will continue to let the light from your accomplishments, from your grades, from your attitude, your work ethic, and your resilience shine for you. I can personally say it's been truly a pleasure serving as an Urban Alliance mentor, uh, getting to know so many of you this past year. Um, and then on behalf of the hundreds of speakers of Black Speakers Network family, I wanna say congratulations on this accomplishment. I feel fully confident that you perhaps more than any other class in history is ready to tackle the challenges of the future. So I say to you, keep growing, keep shining, and always remember, that diamonds are generated by time and by pressure. You, my friends, are diamonds and diamonds are forever. Thank you. Thank you, Brian, for that amazing speech. Um, good morning again, everybody. My name is Kendra Lau, and I'm the Alumni Services Director for UA Baltimore. I'm excited to welcome you all to the community of the Urban Alliance um, family, alumni family. As you complete your internship experience, you will be joining a network of over 400 individuals doing amazing things in Baltimore and beyond. Your relationship with UA does not end here. As alumni, you have earned access to continued support, guidance, and opportunity. Take a moment and look around this virtual room. Wherever you go next, know that you do not go alone. It is my honor to welcome you to the UA family. And then as you embark on your future endeavors, please keep these words in mind. 
I am a UA alumni. I have and will continue to remain positive, model professionalism, apply critical thinking skills, and communicate clearly. Congratulations again, and I will now hand it over to LaShonda Bowden for closing remarks in a video. Thank you so much, Kendra, and thank you again, Brian, for that um, wonderful speech. So I will be sharing my screen again because I will be closing us out with a video um, that I put together for the class of 2022. But before I do that, I just want to take a moment while we have everyone here and just remind all students, mentors, um, school partners, if you're here, you're invited as well. Our end of year in-person celebration will take place next Friday, July 29th um, from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. at our Urban Alliance office. I've already sent out invites. Um, so just want to send a reminder. We're really hoping to see all of our students students there. We're putting together some really wonderful um, swag bags for you all. I'm so excited for that. So I just wanted to put a reminder out there for that. Alrighty, let me share my screen again. Okay, can you all see the video? Yes. Okay. Actually, let me stop sharing and reshare it so I can make sure the sound is going to work.
All righty. So at that time, that concludes our award ceremony celebration. I just want to take the time again to say thank you to everyone for joining us today. And a huge congratulations again to our class of 2022 graduates, as well as our wonderful speakers for today. So thank you again. And again, that concludes our ceremony. And if our awards recipients could um, stay behind so we can capture a picture of everyone. Um, and also I wanted to mention the plaques that you saw on the video are the same plaques that you will receive. So we will be connecting with you all to figure out a day and time to get those over to you. If you're at the celebration next Friday, we'll give it to you at that time. But in um, other words, we'll just make sure that we get those out to you. Thank awesome. you again. Thank you. Thanks, Elizabeth. Bye. Thank you so much, Lashonda. Thank you all. Congratulations, Thank all. You all. Thanks. Bye. Thank you.